Good morning and welcome to school today. It is spring fling day, one of my favorite days of the year. Remember that that's after school. It's at 6.30 to 8.30. Um, you'll need to bring $5 to be able to do the inflatables and games. You can buy your bracelet there if your parents haven't already done that. And then we'll have carnival food, but it's not dinner. It's just like carnival-y kind of stuff. Um, lots of fun. And even if it rains, we're just going to move it indoors. So be thinking about that. So I love spring fling day. We don't have a song to sing today, so let's go ahead and get our day started by standing for the Pledge to the Flag. <clears throat> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, let's see what we're having for lunch today. It is the 8th of April. We're having personal pan and cheese pizzas and deli turkey sandwiches. Green beans, cucumber slices, apples, pears, and cookies. Let's see if anybody's celebrating a birthday today on the 8th. No 8th birthdays. Let's see, we do have a couple tomorrow. Tomorrow's Harper Garrett's birthday and David Bailey's birthday. And then on Sunday, Whitley Short celebrates a birthday, and so does Brantley McCracken. So you four come and see me um, at lunchtime. We'll get those birthday treats for you. All righty, a reminder that our manner of the week is if the door is closed, the person is probably busy, okay? So just wait a little while to go back. Um, we've had more rain. If you go outside, please make sure you wipe your feet off on those little rugs, okay? That really helps our custodians out. And remember, just, it's the right thing to do to clean up after yourself, all righty? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, let's see, I think I have one announcement otherwise. Um, don't forget there is Disney practice after school today, and they're probably going to be practicing in Miss Gray's room because they've set up for spring fling. I've got a big giant stack of um, red role models and red oak charts. Today's idiom of the day is piece of cake. It's something that's easy to do. We've had about four different jokes with this idiom on it. Um, but I can't remember why. I don't remember, but piece of cake. Why did the math problem like the, or why did the kid like the math problem? I don't know. But anyway, I didn't study at all for the spelling test this week because the list of words were a piece of cake. So it's not really cake. Remember all of that good jazz. Congratulations to Miss Miller's class. They have completed 14 red oak charts. Congratulations to Miss Hall's class. They have completed 11. Miss John's class has completed 12. Miss John's, if you'll get me a picture of your class, I'll put that on Facebook because that's the 12 prize. Miss Lee's class, uh, if you completed, they have completed 10 red oak charts. And Miss Wagner's class has completed eight. Great job, you guys. All right, got several red oak graders and we had several uh, again this morning i got these yesterday <clears throat> so we're running a little bit behind the day behind at least on those sawyer fritz watched morning meeting and paid attention thank you sawyer that i don't my mom always used to say i don't do this for my health i do that so you all know the stuff okay uh Cabrin palmer picked up paper towels that were on the floor outside of the classroom thank you Cabrin. maddie kemp kemp worked hard on i ready today and completed several i ready lessons um, and had 200s. Wilder Jodrone completed his already goal for t by Tuesday. Oh my goodness, he was very diligent with his work. Carver Mays has been so on task this week. Uh, he has been a great example for his peers, and that might have been last week, I don't know. Uh, Avery Wall gave 100%. Isaac Taylor um, in Ms. Quinn's class set a good example. He used skills that he learned in SEL to be assertive with the group member in a respectful way. I love that. Mark Mako. Um, helped his helped another group with their partner work after his group had finished. He saw they were struggling and wanted to help them understand. Thank you, Mark. Ingrid May says, always um, willing to help peers. I noticed that yesterday when I was observing in that class or the other day. Uh, Maddie Kendrick, always is a good friend. Justin Beard, always works hard at the back table. Bristol Whitey's also works hard at the back table. Isaac Anglin did a great job trying his best on reading scientific tests. Nolan Smoot um, answered more questions than he had to, than he was required to. That's a fancy word for had to. Eli Banks um, had excellent cafeteria behavior. Uh, David T. and Mr. Smith, I think it's Dennis. I'm just going to go with David T. He was in Ms. Smitty's class, and he had excellent hallway behavior. These are from Ms. Hayden. Um, excellent cafeteria behavior for Harper Garrett. Melody Bunch had excellent cafeteria behavior. Vanessa Sidorinko had amazing cafeteria behavior. Xander in Miss Hall's class, excellent hallway behavior. Milo in Miss McDermott's class, excellent hallway behavior. 
Ashton Sorrell cleaned up something that wasn't his in the cafeteria. Um, that's from uh, Miss Hayden too. These are all from her actually. Bradley Hall, excellent cafeteria behavior. Kendrick Barnes tried his best on all of his work on Wednesday. Great job. Homer Thomas had excellent cafeteria behavior. Olivia Pan had excellent cafeteria behavior. And I'm supposed to say that that was from George. Uh, George also noticed that Gunnar Morgan had excellent cafeteria behavior. And Mira Mostulik had excellent cafeteria behavior. Savannah, from George, too. Savannah Hampton um, had, knew that she could do it. She did a great job comparing parallelograms. Isaac Taylor um, didn't miss any questions on an iReady math lesson. He knew he could do it. Aurora Goddard used all of her first grade reading strategies. Matthew, um, let's see, in Miss Quinn's class, cleaned up a mess that wasn't his. That's from George, too. I don't know who this George is, but he's very good at the right, giving the right of, right of role models. Kinsley Morton knew she could do it. Uh, she did a great job comparing those parallelograms also. Chloe Cross um, had excellent cafeteria behavior. George noticed that. And he also noticed Cooper Gray had excellent cafeteria behavior. And Gabe Johns had excellent cafeteria behavior. Whew, that's a lot. Thanks, teachers, for putting those in there. I appreciate you all taking um, the time to do those, too. All righty, some jokes here. All right, one's on my phone. All right, this one is from um, Ethan in fifth grade. Why was the square so mad? Because he took the rhombus. Get it? Rhombus, the wrong bus. And then if you are a fan of Culver's, Matthew White sent these to me. Um, let's see. What, <laughs> I like this one. What do cheese curds say when they smile for a picture? They say, human, like we say cheese. Um, and let's see, what's a cheese curd called that's been asked a lot of questions? Grilled cheese. And then um, why do Culver's Blue Spoons make the good reporters? Because they've always got the scoop. <laughs> so morning ad for the Culver's today. All right, say the Red Oak expectations with me. Everybody say them, okay? Respect ourselves, others, and our place. Expect to learn, do our best, own our behavior, Always treat others the way you want to be treated and know we can. Um, remember, it's super important to me that you keep your hands and feet to yourselves, that we are using kind words too. That seems to be a little bit of a problem right now. Um, and that we never, ever put our hands or feet on anybody else. Um, and that our hallways and our bathrooms are silent places. It's coffee cart today, teacher, uh, for the first April uh, Fun Friday. So get out your mugs, please, if you would, and we'll be through the halls really soon for that, too. Have a great day. Don't forget to come back for Spring Fling tonight. Do your work and do it well. And I'll see you guys here on Monday. Love you guys.